So imagine, if you will, a beautiful evening in Hawaii. The beach, the water, the birds, the sound. As the waves splash against the beach, we pan up towards a spacious mansion. And at this mansion, we see a, two palm trees bent towards the middle <laughs> with a hammock in there swinging back and forth in the breeze. And in the hammock, we see a woman wearing flip-flops and a muumuu popping ambience, sucking down Mai Tais. <laughs> and make it tweet. <laughs> Next thing we know, we see the glow of a cell phone in the dark night. And Pick we start, me up. We start Pick hearing me up. the flitter. Click, 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 twit, 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 twit. Ah, I sent that, damn it. Bam. Yeah. So that's what, we, that's what we have. So what we have <laughs> is we have Roseanne Barr getting fired yet again for saying something controversial yet again. Yeah. From a person who is controversial. From a person who is known to be controversial. And so. the person that harm is stunned, obviously, <laughs> that, that she, she said was, something controversial. Exactly. Which just, Who's fucking stupid here? That's what just cracks me up. <laughs> So you know, uh, you know. So, we're, so we're looking at this, and we're we're going okay. Everybody's having their fifteen minutes of fun on this one because that's really this is all this is worth. Yeah. Okay. I mean, so just to put it in a nutshell, she has the right to say what she wants to say. Sure. Yeah. Whatever's on her mind. Yeah. yeah again, that's protected. Let me remind you, all you liberals out there, there's this thing called the Constitution. And her First Amendment rights, which you cling to so much when it's something you want to say. Right. That she has that same right. Now, let me tell you what I think is interesting. She didn't threaten to kill anybody. Right. Okay. She didn't say anything that would have led to death or harm towards this person. Like many of y'all have. Okay. When you don't like something that's out there. And it was a joke. It was yeah, obviously it was meant a, as a joke. a joke. And the thing is, is you know, going back to her, her, her roots, she's a comedian. That's right. right. This is what she does. Now, granted, the joke might have been in bad taste. You can take it and say that it was bad taste. I'm not. Again, I'm not sure. Uh, it's, it's up to me to make ball. that decision on my own. Speaking of the, okay, so let's go to bad taste. Have you heard Wanda Sykes? Yeah, that she actually worked on her show. Worked on her show. She's actually been attributed as the whistleblower, <laughs> complaining about it. Right. Have you heard some of the vile crap that she says? It's it's unbelievable. You know, she says things that are hateful, mean, and just downright nasty. Okay, but it's okay for her to do that. So we're we're kind of thinking in our mind, what other shows should be lumped into this? I'm thinking The View. Yeah, Joy yes. Bear with yeah. her her look, comments on homosexuality. Oh yeah, look Joy at the Bear. things that they say. Okay, where where are the CEOs in that position? When she again, same company. I mean, you're dealing with yeah. the same. It's Disney. Right. You're dealing with the same company. Right. So look at the crap that fell out of her mouth, mm -hmm. and she just gets a pass because she said, "Oh, I'm sorry. That was just. I shouldn't have said that." Okay, let's just move right on past right that. On. Keith Overman. Yeah, fired, yeah. Oh, rehired. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's it's like, it's like, so what I think is even funny is everybody criticizes Trump for Twitter. But then he's saying, hey, um, nobody apologized to me yeah, yet. Yeah, where's my apology? Where's my, <laughs> I yeah, thought when, that was when they're putting When they're putting photos of him <laughs> side by side with an orangutan. Yeah. I'm like, okay, you know what? Somebody already went the route of comparing him to some sort of primate right okay. right yeah and so you know so let's 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 kind of and it's funny i mean in a, in a sense i can look at that and laugh i like drunk you know so let's i can look at that and it's kind of funny so let's clean the toilet bowl here okay what i really get tired of are the brown stains on the side okay <laughs> <laughs> okay so those brown stains on the side are liberal exceptionism okay, okay? all right so they expect the bowl to be clean Except for what they want to mess up. Right. Okay? And I, I'm really sick and tired of that. Because what I'm getting sick and tired of is the double standard. Okay? If you don't like what she says, ignore her. Okay? But basically what they've done is they've affected the lives of 200 and plus people that were on that show. Right. Right. Okay? People are feeding they, their kids. They, they've, people that are going to college. An, they've affected an, an economy. Right. It was, it was a micro economy. That's yeah. exactly what it was. And, and the one thing that I think is more offensive is how ABC is positioning this, though. So they're they're basically saying, okay, this is enough is enough. Okay? He says, now we're showing a sense of pride on how quickly this controversy was contained by our management team. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. You knew what was going to happen potentially when you hired her because i'm thinking what they were thinking yeah is that you know what you know she is controversial she has a lot of followers so we're going to play this one of two ways we'll give her her show 
We'll make all kinds of money on it. Hopefully, she'll stay online long enough. It was the number one show. Yeah. They made a shit ton of money. money on it. Long enough to hopefully she gets herself fixed. And if she does blow up, well, then we'll look we'll like... We'll make money off that, too. We'll look like heroes right. coming in saying we acted quickly and contained this, which mm-hmm. I thought was really funny. So, you know, I, I'm sitting there and I'm looking at, at all the things that go along with this, and I don't want to go into all her her responses because you know what you just can't recover from that you no really i was can't. train wreck after train wreck yeah. she just kept talking it's like look lady just right. shut no up. i i do have so i have a, a friend that i went to school with years ago in high school who recently posted something about this um this recent roseanne Barr thing and she led with the uh remember that this is the woman who basically butchered the national anthem yeah right so how i looked at it is you know that's a carefully constructed uh statement Mm -hmm. as i want you to go into this thing if you didn't have an opinion about somebody now that i've presented that this is the one who who butchered our national anthem Mm -hmm. you'll kind of go further into the the reading of my statement here create uh uh, now building up but kind of a disgust or something Mm -hmm. for this woman or reminding you something that she did Mm -hmm. hey this person that you're protecting blah 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 whatever sure butchered this national anthem and hopefully that that little statement alone will change your opinion about her in some well it's funny that the left stood up for her after she did that madonna and all that all of roseanne i'm with roseanne well what i think is even funnier is i'll checkmate that with the fact that michelle obama still does not cover her heart yeah during the presentation of the flag or the star spangled Mm -hmm. banner At least her husband got it right eventually because he took enough criticism. But she still stands there with her hands at her side. Yeah. And and so you don't hear any criticism of that. So the whole patriotism thing, I think in that case, she just got flustered. Yeah. And she got nervous. And she just reached the oh, F it moment and just said, I got to finish this and get it done. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I did. You know, it's funny. I wasn't offended by that. I don't remember seeing Singer on her resume. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they should have known better. They knew, again, this is another bunch of people taking an opportunity to watch a train wreck. Yep. They loosened a few spikes. They let the rail flop to the side. This is that drunk right aunt that, that's yeah. at Christmas, and here she is again. There it is. And I, and I really think it's it's, and they know that about her. Okay, so that's why they keep bringing her back. Absolutely. So I think I don't think it's over. A lot of people, there's a lot of people asking questions. You know, so what's going to happen with the show? Can they do the show without her? I don't think so. It's named after her. You really can't do that. Um, You know, she's promised to quit Twitter. I hope she doesn't. Yeah, it's too much fun. I really hope she doesn't. I, I Roseanne, tweet on. Get back on the. Get back on that hammock. What's ambient cost? I'll send you some. Yeah, get back on that hammock. (laughs) Swing in the breeze, listen to the waves, and I'll look forward to your next tweet.